What's up, guys? It's Eric. I'm in the studio. Uh, this is actually my uh, Arma Creighton uh, 8S. Um, I actually posted something about this on social media. Um, this truck now has a, a shortened wheelbase that uh, a Mitch from M2C Racing has been awesome enough to make. Uh, you know, for those of us who you know who, who want to try more of a stunt truck platform, um, it has a you know about a two inch a shorter wheelbase. Um, I've I've tested this in the street and it's you know it's a complete animal. Um, it's it's been way too wet uh, to get out and, and do any kind of dirt bashing uh, right now. Just so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a quick little bench vid here, just kind of show the changes and uh, you know what we had to do to make this. Um, first off, I've got I've got a body on here. It's a Proline Raptor body for an X Max, and I did have to do a little bit of trimming in order to get this to fit because this truck is just a little bit shorter you know than an X Max. Plus you know the wing configuration back here. I didn't, you know, I didn't really, I really want to run this without the wing because it would, um, you know, there's no wheelie bar and it would just tear the back of the body, you know, uh, all up. So, I uh, definitely wanted to keep the wing. I did trim off part of the wing right here, uh, you know, basically where it's separated into two pieces. I just trimmed that off to where it kind of, you know, has a little bit smaller wing and I can butt this body up to it, and uh, you know, and that uh, worked out perfect. And these tires, this is the uh, Trencher uh, 43s. Uh, they're not belted, uh, but you know they do balloon a little bit, but it's not bad. It's not any worse than the stock tires. Uh, but these are some serious meats, and they're uh, almost a pound heavier than you know than the stock tires per tire. So <laughs> this is almost four pounds worth of weight. But, but I mean, these are some uh, you know some mega tires. You know this this is a stock uh, a stock tire right here, Copperhead, and you can see you know the the difference in there. You know that you know, just a little bit taller, and just a little bit wider. You know probably. A half inch or almost an inch wider so it definitely gives it a killer stance I, to, uh, uh, I just engineered a bumper for the front of it I actually took an old Mojave bumper a front bumper and I took off you know the rest of it and just used the skid plate part and I was able to fabricate that into the stock a skid plate and bumper of the uh, Creighton to make some kind of uh, bumper right here for the for the front you know because there's just because it just had the stock little little stubby bumper so uh, and then I took another piece and bolted it onto that <laughs> so so this fits behind the body so it has some kind of protection right there in case there's any kind of any kind of stacks or anything body, uh, i did cut out right here for the for the shock tower so that you know the body could fall down so it could sit on the truck nice i didn't want it to sit up too high i wanted to keep the body as low in the truck as possible you know to help out with standing back flips and just overall stability and uh center of gravity and stuff um, I did use some uh, I did use some old GRPs for a for a tower brace here for the body, so it's got some kind of support. That's just something that I threw together just on a whim. So we just has some we took kind of a support. front drive shaft and just put one in the rear, so everything uh, uh, hooks up nice. And then Mitch uh, also uh, you know it will come with the kit you know the conversion kit a 7075 tower to tower brace and rear brace, and um, you know that you know because it is a little bit shorter than the uh, stock brace, and uh, everything just fits really nice. You know, it'll it'll screw right into your uh, stock uh, ends there. And as far as the body mounts, I just had to raise the front up as far as it would go to the last hole, and then I just took the rear mounts and I just flipped them around and then flipped them upside down so that I could raise the the post up a little bit higher and then raise it up as far as it would go. Uh, as far as the chassis goes, I'll give you. A... Oh, this truck's heavy. <laughs> this thing has some mega width to it. This truck is actually 24 inches wide and 25 inches long with these tires. So it's almost a giant box and it's very stable. So it's not gonna roly poly over and stuff. Um, this is the, the chassis. I mean, uh, uh, again, this is a prototype chassis. His, um, his finished chassis will have a nice tumbled finish. Um, but it's just, it's just beautiful work and everything hooked up flawlessly. And then here's how I did the front Mojave bumper. I just had to drill out into the front mount here for the, for the three screws. And then I just drilled out holes for these, for the uh, diff screws in the front right there. Make sure that sucker doesn't go anywhere. Again, just huge shout out to uh, to Mitch for for making this nice this awesome option. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, again, it will come as a kit uh, with the chassis and the braces, and then hopefully he's going to be able to include the uh, front drive shaft. We're, we're still working on that with Horizon to see if he can you know get enough in to include that in the kit. But if not, you can just pick those up you know through Horizon or on eBay stuff like that. You can find the front drive shafts, and they're they're not that expensive. So, but anyway, this thing uh, I just can't wait to try it out. Yeah. Not sure how long this body is going to last. Um, you know, you could probably make any fifth scale truck body work, you know, with some fabrications. Um, you know, just that's, that's, you know, completely up to you to decide, you know, what you want to do as far as the body. Um, but this truck's going to be a lot of fun and I uh, can't wait to uh, get it out in the dirt.
All right, guys. Until next time, RCD81. Peace out.